The freedom that HHMI affords me allows me to think about projects that have a higher probability of failing than succeeding. And that's the real truth of it, is that if you really want to take risks, that means taking on things that are more likely to fail than not. And those things can often have a higher payoff, though, as well. The focus of my research is on infectious disease. I've divided my lab into two major areas. One is the study of Plasmodium falciparum, which is the causative agent of the most deadly form of human malaria. The other half of the lab studies the etiologies of chronic human diseases and attempts to link new pathogens and new viruses with those diseases. And so a lot of the projects that we do are discovery-based. We're really going in where we don't know what the answer is going to be. We have no preconceived model, and we're not doing experiments that simply recapitulate our biases about those models, but we're going in with open minds to areas for which nobody knows what's going on and doing basic discovery work. There may be interesting things there that have impact on biomedical health, or they may not. And we don't know until we get there. And so the freedom that HHMI affords me allows me to push that envelope and try those things to really push the edges of biomedical research, to discover new things, to take on risk, knowing full well that a lot of it might fail. I think my advice for a new investigator is to really pursue those riskier projects. You know, forget the most conventional, obvious, logistical next step kind of projects and instead think big. Think about the blue sky projects, the things that are really going to change some kind of paradigm or invent some kind of new technology or um, really change the way we think about a given biological problem. Use the freedom that HHMI gives you to pursue those. And maybe they won't work out. That's, that's a big risk. But this is what the organization is for. It's about risk-taking, calculated risks, but risk-taking nonetheless.